Right, hello everyone, welcome to finally another video on Alan the Van. Uh, I've decided to get some cupboards, uh, but I've tried to do it on a budget. So, in these boxes that I'm on right now are some MDF cupboards and the accessories, and they should have, I, I, I don't know. I've, I've ordered full, full length of the van, and there's a lift up bin, there's a tamper door bit, and they've all got flush doors with fittings. This is uh, from MG Designs, it's probably one of the cheapest ones out there. Just trying to keep costs down. Um, going to unwrap it and then over the course of this video we're going to get it built up, test fit it, um, take it back out and paint it or wrap it or whatever it is I'm going to do to make it look pretty. But by the end of the video we will have cupboards installed in the van, which is something I need because when you drive around and stuff rolls everywhere because you want it in storage it gets a bit annoying. So we're going to go and uh, start with this one. We'll end on that because I'm, I'm sure that's probably just going to be fittings and, and maybe the tamper door. I'm not sure. Well, I can see some shaped bits. Oh look at that, it even says what it is, it says it's a door grace. Right. One door, a flush fitting door. Pre-cut out for the uh, attachment and for the hinges. With a lovely sticker that says door. Let's stack these up now. So I've gone for a three door set, no I haven't, I've gone for a two door set up and a fridge, or space for a fridge. So that's on fittings, that is obviously the outer of the door. That is uh, something we'll figure out later, no idea, got the hole for a reason. We've got here rear unit, so these are the structural pieces. Warning handle this panel with care. Well, I can't get that one out yet, so we'll leave that in a minute. Can I get that one out? Nope. It's like Christmas, Grace. Although it is actually Christmas. <coughs> C. Middle unit. Whatever C. Another C. Ah, you can see that it's shaped. Whichever way around this goes. I'll figure it out at some point. So it's shaped so it fits the, all the contours of the van. So Theoretically, I shouldn't have to trim anything off. It's not a guarantee, but there's a good chance I won't have to. Another piece, let's see what it is. Another part of the middle unit. The destructions. This must be the back of the cupboard. 
and it's got a notch out where, where the uh, other parts will all go into it. So it's saying handle with care because obviously it's thinner, so it might snap. So be careful with that one. And that's its door. Been waiting to get covered for that long. I've got a diesel heater to fit. I've got uh, the split charge relay system to fit at the same time. Lots of things to fit. <laughs> what is that? <coughs> Chris, what's that? I don't know, sorry, I cut your head off a second then. <laughs> oh, that's nice. I could cut your head off. Do it blunt. Another little bit. I'm wondering if they go on the floor into because there are some shapes around the uh, wheel arch for them and it says rear unit. I don't know, I guess I'll figure it out when I look at the instructions. Right, so I need to get this out and then we've got the other box to do. <coughs> so I get this one out and then we'll come back once I've made room and got to the box. Okay, this. Goes. So we have front unit that I think is the worktop, so to speak. That also says front unit. Now I'm confused. Uh, that's the door surround with a front unit. We've got a G. There's a G now, Grace. Mm -hmm. It's for you. That one's yours. Door. Another door. Bracket. Hinges and bracket. You don't want me clicking off things. More bracket. More bracket. More clicking off things. More destructions. assuming is the timbre door kit that's one of them rolly doors that all concertina room the bit that it sits on that is indeed my curled up timber door and runners Done. I think that's everything that's all. right so that is everything that uh, comes as my kit for all my timber doors and cupboards so what I'll do is I'll grab some pictures off the internet of what I've actually bought and I'll talk to you in a second and show you what I've actually bought before we go further. Okay. So quite a bit of time has passed. I took all the uh, wood from the uh, big delivery of wood sections and I glued them together with the instructions that came with it. And I've ended up with this. As you can see, I have a front section where the fridge goes, with two doors and a shelf, an extra bit with a door, 
no shelf and then the back bit which I can't put in because my bed's here so I didn't film it all because it'd be quite tedious and I'm not a joiner so I don't want anyone complaining at me but effectively it's all glued together with uh, Evo stick wood glue now I need to seal the MDF sealing the MDF if you look at these edges here you can see that it's quite open sealing it closes that off and then when you paint it it allows, allows for a better paint finish uh, you require less paint as well stuff like that so I've got some MDF sealer I'm going to put it in my house and I'm going to get it sealed up so it'll look pretty much exactly the same when you next see it but it might be ever so slightly darker and then I can get it ready for painting uh, I haven't attached the doors as you can see the doors are here I've left them off for now so I can seal behind where the hinges fit uh, I figured that was probably the best thing Right, you're going to have to excuse the wind unfortunately, it's a little bit windy out there. That is my set of cupboards and they have been sealed with MDF sealer and I'll get the can shortly to show you what it is. Uh, as I mentioned previously in the video, uh, I've glued them all together with Evo stick wood glue and I used a couple of little tacks in certain places just to hold the panels together. But there are instructions, the instructions aren't 100% correct um, but you can get the gist of it from them. I'd like to point out that these cupboards are from M MGD Design or MG Design. Uh, I'm happy with the quality of what they are for the price, but they missold them to me. So on their website, they advertise that they have an extra shelf in the back section that hinges up so you can access all around the wheel arch. Well, there is no shelf apparently that comes with it. So I contacted them saying I'm missing the shelf and the brackets for it. And I'm also missing the uh, hinges for the top flappy bit, which I'll show you shortly. And they're like, oh, you've already got the hinges. The hinges are in your pack. They're not. Uh, and there is no shelf in that bottom section. So I sent them back pictures of their own website, which shows you that rear unit with a rear hinging shelf. And they're like, we've never made that. Well, it's on your website, so you've messed up there. Missold by them. So bear that in mind if you're after, uh, if you're after buying any of their cupboards. Uh, let's show you what we have. So it's three sections. Uh, front section to have a fridge and two doors and has one shelf and then you have this middle section here uh, which makes it a long wheelbase version you take it out and then it's effectively a short wheelbase version uh, in the rear section this is where you'd have the lift up flap but uh, I have no hinges for it at the moment but you have lift up flap and you can go all the way down to the bottom that's where I'm hoping to have my electrics in the bottom of there then this section here will be a timbre door, so it's the roll-up thing that you slide all the way to the top. It's actually on my passenger seat in there. Obviously there's no point in me fitting it until last off. And then on the rear side you have an access door. This here is what they tried to say is my hinged shelf, which is just a lift up panel. Nothing to do with hinges at all, but that's what the uh, person tried to blag me was what I had ordered. Even though it looks nothing like what it does on the website. But all in all, I'm quite happy with it. I just wish it had the shelf that I wanted, because that's the reason why I bought it. Um, but now I need to paint it. So it's all sealed with MDF sealer. I'll go and get it, and I'll show you what I've used. And then it's a case of waiting for Amazon to deliver me my paint. Uh, I also have to remove my bed. Got to take this bad boy out, because it's in the way, and I can't test fit the cupboard in the back corner. So I need to get the bed out now, which is 8 or 9 bolts from underneath take the bed out and put it in the garage and it gives me all the room to actually work in here to actually uh, get it done but I'm going to get the cupboards painted first before I take the bed out because then if I'm happy with where they fit I will leave the cupboards in uh, and that will be that sort of thing there. I could put the bed back in and the job done so take the bed out when the cupboards are painted that's the tin of the MDF clear sealer that I used it's three quarters of a litre and I've still got half left and the only thing I've not done so far are my doors and them, them little flappy covered bits. Everything else has been sealed. So it's time to start painting stuff. And as you can see, the cupboard doors behind me uh, have had their first coat. Um, so what I've decided to do is do like a two-tone effect. I have got some wood paint, wooden metal paint, but uh, wood paint and steel smoke. And that's the colour that the doors are. And that's also the colour that the countertop's going to be. And then I've got a Manhattan grey, which is a lighter silver, and that'll be like the, the rest, the bulk of the cupboard. Um, I don't think I have enough paint, but uh, I thought I might have been alright until I realised things are going to need second coats, and now I don't think I'm going to have enough paint. So this is the first coat, and it is patchy in places. 
So I'm definitely going to have to do a second coat. It is gloss as well, so it's going to leave a nice shine once it's all on and dried. But um, it'll be quite boring watching paint dry, so I'm not going to let you see that. So once I've got the main cupboards in here and I'll start painting them, I'll update you with that. And we'll go from there. Once it's all painted and dry, we can actually get them in the van, which means taking the bed out. But we'll cross that shortly. So it is about a week later from when I filmed painting the doors and I painted all the cupboards as you can see and I've gone for this lovely two-tone effect uh, as you can see darker grey at the top and then this lighter grey for everything else but there is one issue that I have uh, I have spotted so mine is a long wheelbase van that is a long wheelbase set of cupboards but uh, it's nice and snug up there in the top I have this extra middle section here that turns it into a long wheelbase section but I've had to put the driver's seat all the way forwards to get it to fit in now I know there's like an inch gap there uh, that's not going to make that much difference because um, I need to trim out the bottom of that cupboard to make it fit uh, like up to the wall properly because of the shape of the van I don't think you can probably see it I'd have to uh, trim around that and make it push up but that inch isn't going to make that much of a difference so I've been looking up there if I can trim at this, this corner out and trim that line off to see if I can then bring it way like this way a bit more but then I'm at danger of uh, not being able to open my cupboard I mean don't get me wrong I could hinge it so the hinges are on that side then obviously it'll open up that way uh, which I think is the way I'm going to have to do it anyway but right now I'm a little bit stuck so there's a chance I may have to take out that middle section and just have it as the smaller set of cupboards which isn't a bad thing but uh, not originally what I wanted, but that might be what I'm going to end up getting. <laughs> oh dear. So, yeah, I'm currently uh, playing around at this moment in time. And yes, there's some little bit, bits of touching in marks that need to do that. Once it's all in place, I'll touch up any marks and scratches and stuff like that. And yes, I've still got my uh, doors to fit on. But I wanted to put them in the van now to get a better idea of how things go. And yeah, you can see the, the gap I've got from the wall there. I can't push it back because of how it's touching. If I drag this one out, I can then move everything down. So I've dragged it down, and again, I'd have to trim out that cupboard to fit around that uh, piece of the uh, wall there. You know, the structure, strengthening structure part of the van. But I can move it another three inch down there and that's the seat all the way back. That is pretty much where I drive because I'm a giant. So as you can see, there isn't the room for that extra section. So I think I'm gonna end up going with that, I think. But uh, I've got a lot of worked out space because I've got the cupboard bit that goes on there, you know, the flappy panel bit. Put some lights on. Aha. There we go. There we go. You can probably see the colours a little bit better. So that obviously has a fridge. That one has a cupboard, like a door. And I might paint the inside, I don't know yet. I thought I was going to run out of paint, I did not. So technically I can paint the inside of that cupboard, so I probably will. Uh, and again, I haven't painted inside there. I don't, I don't know. It's not that important, is it? But we'll, we shall see. So that's where I'm at. Uh, now I need to figure out how to secure it down. And where my electrics and that's going to go. So we'll get this built up with all the cupboard doors and uh, and we'll go from there really. So I'm now back in the van with my worktop extra piece that goes here and the doors and all the fixtures and fittings. So I'm going to try and get everything built up now. Uh, and it'll be kind of done. I need to kind of fit it to the floor. I need to be able to set them in and out while I do the electrics and stuff. And still need to trim that cupboard piece, but we get the doors on, and then it's gonna look something like uh, all the brackets came. Uh, I've got all the hinges, got all the, the the locking bits for all the doors. So I'm just gonna get everything screwed on now. It's gonna be a bit boring to watch, but I'll show you a couple of the doors once I've done it, and we'll go from there really. So there has been a little bit of an update, as you can see, we're back out of the van with the cupboards, but they are fully built, uh, and what I decided to do was lacquer them. So I have 
Is that the lacquer? No, it's lost black. U Pole Power Can Clear Coat. And I've clear coated literally every surface, the sides, the tops, just to try and add a bit of extra protection from scratches effectively. So if I try and get it in the right angle, you can see there's a really good shine on there now. Uh, and it's just got this extra layer because, you know, anything you can do to try and make it last because at some point it's going to get scratched and probably quite quick. But I've done all of it. Uh, everything's ready. As you can see, yeah, that's quite uh, strong, that clip. This is ready. Just need fluff taking off it. Uh, so now it's time to get everything back in the van. My last job, which I'm going to do off camera, is I need to trim where that E is, just down there. I need to trim a section of that off, just so it will fit around the uh, frame in the van. And then we're good to go. So, uh, next step in the van, I think. And there we have it. I've actually achieved something. We have some cupboards. They actually suit the van quite well, colour-wise. You know, it's, it's, it's not a bad effort. <coughs> Obviously, we have door I had it this way which I know means you've only got that much room worst case I could always swap it around to the side but I thought if I open the other way it's gonna get stuck on here and gonna limit my room potentially just as much because it's not like the door opens all the way around as you can see we have a shelf and that shelf comes out we have space all the way through there we have obviously the uh, I might need to grease it up, I'm not sure. I'm a bit dubious about greasing the track because obviously clothes and stuff going in here. I suppose as I uh, use it more, the better it will become. Yeah, and I've still got the stickers on it as well, but I'm not really bothered. See bits of light gaps where it is against the wall, but it's all in nice and tight now. I'll leave that up for now. We have lifter patch, as you can see. So what I've actually done here is I've screwed through the lift up patch side put a piece of wood on, sat this on because it dipped down slightly so it lifts up uh, the worktop so they're actually flush. I have a gap here but I figure once the bed's in place it will, it will not be there anymore. I could potentially close the gap up by trimming off the edge of here but uh, well or if we'll get it to sit squarer but that's where I got it. It's flush across there as in the gap wise is the same i could probably lift lift that up a bit more with the hinges because there's a bit of adjustment but i am not a joiner but, um, screw in there as you can see in the bracket that just stops this leg from uh, wobbling around because obviously eventually that's where the fridge will go and then we have said cupboards in here one has a shelf one does not i've got some brackets in there that screw into the floor and I've got this piece of timber in there, which I'm actually going to swap out for a bit of a thinner one, but I don't have any at this moment in time. Uh, and I trimmed off that side like I said I would, so it fit around that part of the van. Uh, everything works as it should. I'll see if I have the work top all across here. I am uh, more than happy because I finally have some cupboards and I never had any cupboards before. But my van starts to look more like a camper van now. Uh, I'm going to stick stickers all over it as I go and visit places, um, like you would if you had a magnet, but obviously it's not magnetic, so I'm going to get stickers and stuff and get them plastered on. I want some Highland Coos and stuff on it, like a big Highland Cool, although you really won't see if the bed's there. On here we could have Highland Cool. You could also convert this into a drawer. I may have mentioned that already in the video, I'm not sure. But there we go, I finally have cupboards. Uh, I'm going to end the video here now, uh, because I'm not putting the bed back in yet, because of the next set of videos I've got to do. Uh, I've got my diesel heater to install, I've got my driver's seat to swap out for uh, the other Toyota Camry seat. I've also bought some heated seat pads so I can convert these seats to heated seats and wire them all in. That's another video as well. Uh, what did I say there? So, diesel heater, the seats, I don't think what else I bought. Oh, I bought some mystery boxes from uh, Travelling Light. Uh, if anyone wants to see like a, an opening of the mystery boxes of what you get and it specific T5 mystery boxes uh, and then the bits and bobs I get from there uh, I can make that as a video plus the stuff I do get I need to install uh, and then we'll go from there really as uh, time progresses we've got more bits and bobs to do so 
done with this video now uh thank you all for watching i know it's been a very weird video because it's been spread out over a long time partly down to the weather partly down to my new job uh yeah so that's where we're at so thank you everyone i'll see you soon in another video take care stay humble see you soon bye